Do you swing your arm down? Do you swing your arm across? Or do you not swing your arm at all? I'll show you what I think in this upcoming video. What's up? I'm Pro Fighter Strong Fagan from MuayThaiGuy.com and one of the most common questions I get and some of the most common discussions and arguments I get in some of our Facebook groups is whether to swing your arm down, swing your arm across, or not swing your arm at all. I'm going to go over my philosophy but would love to hear your thoughts so make sure you let me know what you think in the comments below. Now generally speaking when I teach beginners how to throw a roundhouse kick, I tell them to swing their arm down because just the way that the body mechanics work is think about when you're walking. When you walk, you swing your arms, right? And this is going to help with your hip movement and your entire body mechanics, right? Same idea when I throw a roundhouse kick. When I throw a roundhouse kick, I want to pop this hip through and turn this shoulder. But while I swing this arm down, this kind of creates that jerk and like thrust motion that helps me develop a little bit more power in my kick, okay? If I have my arm up when I kick, yeah, I'll have good defense, but I'm not going to have that extra whop when I uh, rotate my entire body, okay? So when I throw a kick or when I teach how to throw a kick at first, I want to make sure that you step off ideally at an angle. You don't have to. You could keep your foot uh, stationary in front of your opponent. I like to step off because this way it gives my hips more movement or more room to move through. Then I'm going to rotate my body. I'm going to start with my arm across my face. So this way I can block any types of counter punches that are coming. If I start here and just swing straight here, any straight punches are going to catch me right in the face. But if I start across my body, okay, and my opposite hand here, I'm going to rotate like this, okay? This is the rotation I'm going to do. So if I'm throwing my right roundhouse, my right arm starts up. As I throw this kick, my right arm is going to swing down to my hip, okay? And my left arm is going to come to my head. So I'll do this a couple times. So I come here, boom, and then back. I'm trying to do it slow so this way you can see. Maybe we'll do it in slow motion, okay? So from here, boom, and then back. So the philosophy is whether you're throwing a high kick, a middle kick, or low kick, ideally I want my arm to start in front of my face and then whip down. Now, a lot of times when you throw a low kick, you'll see people throw a low kick and they'll turn like this. Now, you're able to generate a lot of power in the low kick like this, right? But if I were to finish like this, my chin is wide open and it's at the side. So a straight punch can catch me right on the chin if I wanted to. So what I like to do with my opposite arm is almost reach across my opponent's body and touch their back shoulder. If I'm able to do that, I'm able to tuck my chin behind my shoulder and also uh, kind of stuff their counter attack as well. So when I throw a low kick, I like to reach this across and then use this almost as momentum and leverage to drive into the kick. <clears throat> okay, so I'll throw the low kick a couple times. You can watch uh, the mechanics in my arms and my feet to make sure you know how to do it properly. <clears throat> do it one more time. <clears throat> All right, same idea with the middle kick. When I throw the middle kick, I want to make sure my arm's swinging across and down as well, except for I can be a little bit more uh, liberal with where my arm goes this time because when I throw the middle kick, chances are my head's going to lean back slightly, so it's going to be a little bit harder to uh, get countered with punches. That being said, you still can get countered, so it does help to have that built-in defense while you do it. Okay, So I'll throw a middle kick a couple times. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, and then with the high kick, so the trage trajection of my arm is going to vary depending on the traje trajection, I can't say this fucking word, trajection of the kick, okay? If I throw a low kick, chances are my arm is going to come a little bit more down and up. Middle kick is coming across, and high kick is kind of coming down. So when I throw the high kick, I can start up here, but when I finish with the kick, my arm is going to be swinging down. <clears throat> Okay, do this a couple more. Last one. Okay, now obviously, like I said, there's a bunch of different philosophies on how to throw a kick. I would love to hear your input in the comments below. So let me know what type of variation of your arm swing you like to use. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.